Hello and welcome to this week two announcements for our English 235 class, Technical Writing. Uh, what we're in right now, if you click on the calendar tab, we've got our calendar for the class. Uh, and this is week two already. Yay, we're off to a good start. Uh, what we're going to be working on this week is building towards our definitions assignment and uh, working on some diagnostic revision. So I'm going to be grading your diagnostic exercises uh, in the next two days. So those should be done by the end of the day on Tuesday. You'll have that feedback to work with. You're going to make some changes uh, where errors occurred, and you're going to submit those diagnostic revisions uh, by the end of the day on October 2nd. So we've got some time to work on that, but that's kind of where we're headed for this week. I do want to show you um, what uh, kind of resources we have in our class. So if you go into our class, and click on our modules tab. Uh, you can see that we've broken everything we're going to be doing down into weeks. So our first week we talked about uh, what technical communication is. We have a recorded lecture there. Uh, if you are struggling with showing the recorded lectures, all you have to do is open up this lecture in PowerPoint and click on play from beginning and the audio should uh, play for you. If that's not the Thing that happened for you though, shoot me a message and we'll see if we can't get that figured out. Uh, we are then moving into writing definitions. So writing definitions here is our uh, first big assignment in the quarter. Uh, we've got a recorded lecture here that's also going to walk you through that process. Uh, I've got some sample definitions work for you here in a doc format as well as some help with APA citation. If you've taken English 101 or English 102, you're probably very familiar with MLA format. However, in more and more cases, we're seeing APA style being the standard for uh, anything in the sciences, uh, anything in the softer sciences like psychology. Um, we see this format being used a lot more often, and you'll see it in more professional settings. So that's why we're using APA format here in uh, technical writing. It's probably a format that you're going to run into much more frequently than MLA in the future. So I just want to give you those skills as you're moving forward. And then just a brief discussion on why it's important to define things uh, correctly and clearly, uh, because especially in professional writing, we want to make sure that our intended audience knows exactly what we're talking about. We don't want to assume any knowledge uh, that might not be there on their part because uh, we can run into some pretty tricky things. And if you're working in a business and putting out documents uh, and somebody misinterprets your document, it could end in a very expensive lawsuit. So important to know why we're using definitions, why we're defining things a certain way so that we can clarify with our audience what we actually want them to do. So definitions, really important. Um, so we want to make sure we've got that skill set nailed before we move into uh, more higher order writing like abstracts and newsletters uh, and then ultimately into our technical descriptions, our SOPs, and our recommendation reports. So this is really building the groundwork for all of that subsequent writing, being able to clearly define our terms and then use them effectively in our writing. So make sure you familiarize yourself with this particular skill set. Um, read the assigned reading in the book that's on the calendar for you uh, and this will really help you be successful not only in this assignment but hopefully in your future writing endeavors as well so check that out uh, good stuff coming our way this week and then of course you can go into the assignments uh, to access the the revision document you're going to be working on uh, as always everything you need is here in the assignment so you can look ahead check things out Make sure you know where you're headed and what you want to get done. All right, that's about where we're headed for this week. If you have any questions, of course, please shoot me a message. I'm here to help. Um, give me about 24 hours normally to respond, like we've talked about in some past videos and in the announcements. Uh, most of my working time is after 3 p.m. when my husband gets home and the kids are taken care of by someone else. So if you shoot me a message, um, in the morning, I probably won't get to it until later afternoon. So plan that as a part of your uh, schedule when you're reaching out for that help. All right. I look forward to seeing what kind of revisions you guys are making in your diagnostic exercises. Let me know if you have questions and have a great week.